Would you welcome now Mr. Ed Marsh, our treasurer, who's going to talk us through the practicalities of just giving. So Ed, just tell us a little bit about uh, the way that the money works. Do we... Um, do we keep any? Do we have any admin costs? How does that work? No, so I mean, one of the things that, um, uh, that you might be a bit confused about, if, even if you've seen some Just Giving pages so far, is that people are raising money for Woodland's group of churches. Um, but actually what happens is that Woodland's uh, group of churches uh, uh, collects the donations, and then we make grants to the charities that, that you've identified. And um, every penny that uh, Just Giving gives us, or if you're old school and you fill out a sponsor form, Every penny of that money that comes to, to Woodlands uh, through Love Running uh, gets sent out to the charity. So, um, you know, it's a great way to do it. There is admin involved, but we, uh, we do that for free. Fantastic. Now, tell us, we've mentioned Just Giving, and we'll send you our emails. Like I said, don't worry about the detail. We'll send emails, we'll put stuff on the website, we'll give you a blow-by-blow, step-by-step uh, way of signing up. But there's a new thing in Just Giving. Can you tell us a little bit about the Just Text Giving? Yeah, Dave just uh, mentioned it before, um, that actually there's a new thing called Just Text Giving, um, which uh, enables you to set up your own, as a fundraiser, set up your own code uh, that then you can encourage your supporters to text. So they can text a certain code and an amount, and, uh, and that donation will be added to your fundraising total. And I'd just like to just quickly say on that, um, there's a really, really big advantage for uh, the, the, uh, the charities that are receiving your money of you doing that, of encouraging people to do that, because uh, this service uh, is actually provided for free by Just Giving, uh, which means uh, actually that, that all the money that is raised via that text message goes to the charities, whereas normally set up a page and they take a little bit of a cut of it, Just Giving. So just encourage you to, to look into that, to do that. There'll also be uh, a love running uh, overall code where you can, someone can give into the overall love running pot as well. But do look into that. There'll be instructions in the pack. Final question. We have a collection of Bristol charities. You've been uh, responsible for finding those for us. Can you tell us a little bit of an overview of those charities? Sure. Um, I mean, in my, my day job, I work um, advising charities, about 150 local charities. And the reality is that there are so many organisations um, that are doing such a fantastic work and actually so many organizations for which actually a, a contribution of, of any sort makes a huge difference to the work that they do. So what we've done uh, together is to, to come up with a list of uh, local charities to, uh, to, to really um, be those that would be beneficial of the support. Those details are on the website but just quickly to run through them now you could spend uh, an hour on each one but I won't. Um, we're going to be supporting Crisis Centre. Crisis Centre does an incredible job in, um, in blessing the homeless in the city, those with, with life-disrupting problems. Um, you know, if you're a parent, you'll know that's a tough job. But if you're a lone parent, parent that is an even tougher job. And Reach um, is, is an organisation that, that, that reaches out to work with lone parent families to give them support. Um, the noise uh, encourages uh, people to make a difference in their communities by doing acts of service and social action work, things like that, in need of communities across Bristol. And it's great to be supporting them. Enough do an amazing work with young people on the Hartcliffe Estates. Seamills Community Initiatives work, works to do all sorts of community projects in the community of Seamills, um, a community with, with many, many needs. And then so often, some of the needs that we see actually are more hidden, less obvious. Bristol International Student Centre works with students that are coming from overseas to study in Bristol. And actually, a lot of these students are coming, and actually, they're coming away from home, coming into a foreign culture, and they're experiencing loneliness, they're experiencing something of real isolation. And um, Bristol International Student Centre just does just a brilliant job of providing family, providing welcome, providing hospitality, providing care. Um, and then, do you want to say about Click? Sure, well, Click is getting the lion's share of that third going to the Bristol needy. And um, that, as we said before, is working with families where the children have got cancer or leukemia. And they provide a home from home. Uh, there's information about that in your pack, but the home from home basically means that there's only certain centres around the country where children can be treated for cancer. And if your child has a brain tumour or whatever it may be and you need to travel 50 miles for them to go to hospital, Home for Home provides families a place where they can stay and be close to their children while they're in treatment. So that's Ed. Any questions that you have, we can get them to Ed, but let's give him a round of applause.
Okay, so targets. Everyone that's doing Love Running, you've signed up saying that you're going to do your best to raise a minimum of 120 pounds. You do that, that's fantastic. But actually, as Dave found, you can do so much more because people want to give. So I want you to set yourself a target right now. These are the targets. The bronze target is 200. If you raise 200 pounds, and you can include gift aid in that, then we will give you a bronze medal. I don't mean that literally. If you raise 300 pounds, we will give you a silver, metaphoric, medal. <laughs> if you raise 500 pounds, we'll give you gold. In the Olympic year, isn't gold a great thing to go for? <laughs> and if you can raise 1,000 pounds, my friend, you got yourself a platinum medal. <laughs> so, I want you to turn to uh, the person next to you, think about it, and then tell them what medal you think you can go for, okay? Just discuss that and then we'll see what people say.